Oh, good morning and happy, happy, happy January. Happy New Year. Happy 2018. Hopefully your year is starting off very nice. Oh, I'll leave the light off. Very nice and prosperous. So it's January and my husband's birthday was yesterday. So I was like, oh, I don't really know if I'm going to vlog or whatever. Um, but then I decided, you know what? I should vlog because I usually vlog things that I consider to be special so that I can always take the time to look back. Like I look back at all my Christmases, I look back at all of my birthday celebrations, all on YouTube within the last, I want to say five or six years between this channel and the other channel that I had back in the day. So I said, you know what, I'm going to pull out the camera, I'm going to vlog it so that when I decide two years from now that I want to see it, I can. So anyway, my husband's birthday was yesterday, but yesterday, oh wait, did it go off? Okay, I have to put this laundry in the dryer. But yesterday, um, I had to work. So what I did was I had made him a cake and gave him a card. And he was off from work. He had taken a day off of work yesterday. And then he also had taken off today. And so that's basically what I did. Like nice, simple, sweet. Had a card. Wrote like happy 34th birthday. All that good stuff. But I had to work. So I didn't get a chance to really like do what I wanted to do for that day. It's actually the first time pretty much since we've been together that I've actually had to work or anything like that on his birthday because prior to recently, I didn't work prior to moving to Virginia. Oh, you know what? Let me sit down. I'm going to use this little chair here for her. Okay, great. This is better. This is like a... um computer chair that I usually have in the back so you probably don't see but anyway so I had a plan I was like I'm going to make this plan and then surprise them because surprises are always wonderful and my husband is one of the easiest people to surprise because he's not like one of those um snoopy snoop around always check what's going on kind of husbands so it makes it pretty easy unless he stumbles upon something that i'm trying to literally plan so what i decided was i was going to create a little staycation so we live in virginia beach but we pretty much never go to the beach we never go to the beach all summer that just passed we just we don't we don't go to the beach we're more tropical beach people unless um stateside beach people i guess um, but anyway, it's still beautiful during this time of the year. But that's where all of the nice hotels are. <clears throat> Oceanfront hotels down by the beach. And that's also where the nice restaurants were. So I decided I was going to do an overnight trip down there. Thing is, and I probably should have started this video a little earlier. Um, I needed to get a bag packed and then get the bag in the car. So I think I figured that out. So he right now had went to get the tire change on the car. I'll have to show you a picture. Um, we somehow got a bolt into the tire and so we had to take it earlier to get it fixed. So I was like, okay, this is the perfect time for me to be able to do this. This was the time that I was planning to do it during the daytime, but I didn't expect for him to actually be gone. So I was trying to figure out a way to get around it. So this made it super easy. I had this overnight bag. It's a green bag, it's really cute. A green lug bag. I packed this overnight bag. It's all fully packed. Got my little fancy shoes in there for dinner. Deodorant, of course. Stockings. <laughs> all sorts of stuff. So I have all of that packed. And I put it in the bottom of this closet. Because this is like the seasonal closet. He doesn't really ever go in here. Over to the side. And so basically, my plan is... I don't know if you can see me. So basically... Um, my plan is when he gets back, because I told him I wanted to leave around 12 to go out, right? Um, so when he gets back, he's going to come back, he's going to take a shower, get his hair together or whatever this is going to be doing. And when he does that, I'm going to take the bag to the car to put it in the trunk. So I don't drive. You guys know that I don't drive. I don't drive. I don't have my license. I don't drive. Um, but I have keys to the car. We both have keys to our car. So I'm going to go while he's in the bathroom, sneak off put the bag in the car and then hope that between now and the time that we would get downtown to the hotel after going to lunch and going out that he does not open the trunk so fingers and toes crossed 
everybody. We're gonna see how this goes. But I'm super excited. I have some um, fun stuff planned, pretty much. Uh, he's really into art. Outside of, uh, that's probably him calling me, hold on. All right, that wasn't him. So um, yeah, I have some really fun stuff planned for today. A complete surprise because he might have an idea that something might potentially be going on only because it's very rare for me to just get cake happy birthday here's a card like I'm pretty big on birthdays and he's pretty big on birthdays so he's probably thinking hmm this is interesting but we're gonna see so hopefully doing it a day later kind of gets him off his feet a little bit I did tell him that we were gonna be going out um, but I didn't tell him what exactly to do. He has absolutely no clue that we're going to be staying overnight anywhere. So I am looking forward to that. In the meantime, in between time, I need to figure out something. How did it end up going? How did it end up going? At the tire place. Everything was nice? Yeah. I thought you were going to call me before you came back. No, I texted you. Oh, no, I didn't get the text. Well, no, you're already here, so it doesn't make sense. All right, so I got the bag, and I still have my pajama on, but I have pants on <laughs> with it now. So basically, hopefully you can hear me. He was supposed to call me before he got back. And I was like, oh yeah, just call me, blah. I guess he figured he had told me that the repair was gonna take like 20 minutes from the last time he spoke to me, and he just sent me a text message instead. But I didn't hear the text message because it was waiting to hear phone ring because I was in a different room so when he was coming in I was just trying to put my like little computer into the bag right up the steps so I ran to the closet stuffed the bag in the bottom and then that's the clip that you just saw of me talking to him so now he's in the shower I have my shower water running in the other bathroom so just in case he comes out and he doesn't see me, the other bathroom door will be closed and he'll think that I'm like taking a shower too. So then he's in toes across. Got the car keys. Well, my keys as you can tell. And so let's see. I'm looking all the way crazy, y'all. But the bag. And I got the key. I'm not gonna move it from this angle because I don't need y'all to see all where I live. Um, oh, perfect. Okay. So our frost guard is in here, which we use to put over the car. I'm over the frost. So what I'm going to do is push it in the back here. Oh, I'm going to even lay it on its side. Like that. And then put this over it like this kind of. Okay. So if he looks in here, at first glance, at first glance it won't look too crazy, I guess. I mean, this could be a crazy idea, but I'm just going to hope he doesn't open it. So hopefully that looks like, like nothing, just like some, like just like some junk in the car or something. I think I did it okay. Total success. We did it. He's in the shower. I'm gonna hop in the shower. First stop, lunch. And we are here at, why not? It's an Italian restaurant that we really like. And say hello to people. I was telling them about today a bit. They don't exactly know what exactly is going on, but they kind of know. Everybody, including my mom, asks me every year, so what are you doing for your birthday? And I always tell them, I have no idea. My wife's got it. And I'm just going to go out. So you don't figure it out. And it's usually, it's pretty much always fun. So I'm not really, I'm, why, why not? I drove here and I still didn't know where we were. So. <laughs> but I like this place. So. That's good. So that's good. Cool. Yeah, I just put the address in the GPS and then we just go so why not we absolutely love i don't know if i was talking about this place in the vlog before but if you come to virginia you definitely got to try why not there's one in norfolk there are two in virginia beach there's a new one huh princess anne is that chesapeake 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's, well, there's three. A in, over there too. There's three, but that one over by where um, AC Crafts is, or Princess Anne Hospital. That's Virginia Beach. Okay, well, there's three in Virginia Beach. There's this one here in Norfolk. This is the first. This is the first time we've been to this one. But their food tastes absolutely amazing. So I figured it'd be a good start to the day because I know he really likes my food. Has arrived. I got a garden salad and a spaghetti. And so the spaghetti has a colossal meatball. It's like one very large meatball in the center. And then bam, ended up getting chicken finger platter and some garlic bread to go with it. And those garlic bread pieces are huge. They look very good. All right, so he's off to the bathroom. I finished my food. I'm not gonna eat any more of my spaghetti. I ate the whole meatball and all sorts of stuff. I usually tell them to give me a kid's portion of the spaghetti part, but they never did. They don't listen to me. But anyway, um, he went to the bathroom. So the next stop is going to be um, this like arts craft place, a pottery place. Um, we walked from our car to over here. And like, let's say this, why not? It's 1517. And the pottery place is 1300. So we're just gonna walk back towards our direction like it's regular and I can tell them anything. But anyway, uh, last year for Christmas, was it last year for Christmas? Yeah, last year for Christmas, I gave him a cup. And so if you've been following, it's a cup that I made at this pottery place that he absolutely loves. I didn't really think that he was going to like it too much. You know, I think I could have did a better job, but he absolutely loved it. Um, and he's a pretty artsy person. He's into painting, he's into charcoal, he's into all that stuff, and he's also coming. Um, so that's what, that's what should be happening. They went to, oh, my phone's ringing. They, oh, they, he went to the bathroom. They went to wrap up his meal and then we'll do It looks dusty because it looks dusty before they glaze it and make it pretty and stuff and then pick it up later. This is the base. And the colors are also lighter as well. They don't look their actual colors. And so after it comes out of the glaze as well. But it's looking good, looking good. And so my burger is pretty much done. Cute. And then I have these letters, they're backwards because I'm painting the back. But I want to put them right here. And then this is just the birthday. It's actually 34, not 43, but 34. <laughs> and then stick them up here so that, you know, it's a good memory of the day. Babes is still coming along. Which is great. Are you surprised? Uh, yes. You had a bag in the trunk. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Where did you think we were? Let me explain something, to y'all. People, people always ask me, "Oh, you had no clue what she was doing." No, <laughs> she was doing, she was doing the most. All right. <laughs> Wait, she put a bag in the. I drive. Okay. I don't even know when. When did she go to the car? That's what I want to know. That's that's all I want to know. How'd she, she what? But she had a bag in the car, apparently. Yes. So, yeah. But get surprised. 
Oh uh, yes, I'm 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 easy. I'd be like, hey, you know, some of the simplest things in life. They Wait, mean. how'd you like the ceramics? The ceramics thing yeah. is dope. I would do that again tomorrow. I'll yeah. do that again later today. That thing was fun. I'm waiting. I want to see what my what the after looks like. Yeah, because yeah. it looks so dusty and crusty when you're painting it. But then well, I had so many plans for the colors. I really hope it just pops mm-hmm. like how I want it to pop. If yeah. you don't, I'm going to say I was going for that. <laughs> and then I'll paint marker it. <laughs> That's funny. Yes. So far, so good. Um, next up is dinner. The weather looks crazy. <laughs> it's like a it looks fog. crazy. It looks like a fo- Oh, I can take you out. I'm going to take you out to the balcony so I can show you um, what it looks like. Because the hotel is on the beach, which you can't see because it's foggy. But let me show you. This is like a little outside balcony area. Let me let it focus them. But yeah, you can hear the water. You can see the waves a little bit, but the fog is really low. Really low. I, I think the camera does it more justice than what I'm actually seeing. So I forgot my camera at the hotel. We're already on our way to dinner. We just arrived at the actual restaurant, and so we're figuring out our life in reference to parking. All right, so yeah, I totally left the camera at the hotel room. How did I manage to do that? I don't really know. So I'm using my iPhone, my bad. But we're here, the babe is over there. Wait, I don't know if I can turn it. But we're here. Next morning, you can see the water now. Let me zoom in a little better. But I look crazy since I just woke up. <laughs> but it is really pretty. Rise and shine. I look a little better now. Um, so last night was wonderful. I cannot believe I forgot my camera. Anyway, we ended up going to Waterman. Hopefully you can hear me and the wind isn't too much. That's the water you hear. But we ended up going to Waterman's. I will leave like their information down below and it was such a good time. Um, we left about nine-ish because I knew that nine they were gonna be having a live band and all that good stuff. The band was really good. The food was amazing. If you love seafood, it's great. Even if you don't, they had some really good steak because my husband really likes steak. He's not really a seafood fan. Um, but I got like bacon wrapped scallops, which were good. Um, and then I got their fried shrimp, which was amazing. My husband got a New York um, strip steak with mashed potatoes and vegetables. And he said it was absolutely wonderful. So we had a good time. I definitely have to write like a review can't believe I forgot my camera but what can you say can't remember everything so we're gonna try to see about this continental breakfast at the hotel hopefully the seagulls don't come try to get me um and that should be good I'm making a bagel babe's making a bagel and there's a bunch of other little things oh, oh that was fast okay <laughs> oh, burn off my fingers okay I'll let it cool off first but anyway A bagel cream cheese cereal. It's having a bagel with butter and milk kind of jelly. Is that regular jelly? Blackberry jam. Oh, blackberry jam. And blueberry muffin. I have a banana nut muffin. Some milk and some, um, what is this? Apple juice. And we also have like little pancakes and yogurt. 
the waters, all sorts of stuff. Really nice. Back to reality. We are in Aldi's picking up and some groceries. And so I figured really quickly I would do an Aldi's haul of the things that we got. I just spread them out over one of our tables. Um, and this is one of the tablecloths I used during Thanksgiving. So anywho, ha hey, where do we begin? So I guess we'll go here and I'll sit down here. Canned vegetables, corns, mixed vegetables, more mixed vegetables, French green beans, and more French green beans. Um, then there's cinnamon applesauce. We have some lemon iced tea mix, two chunky chicken noodle soups that my husband uses when he goes for lunch, some packed potatoes, so butter style potatoes, loaded potatoes, this pack of cup of noodles because my husband takes that as well. Let me tell you something. When my husband goes to work, he takes lots of stuff. He is one of those forever snacking kind of people. So basically he goes with, let's count. He goes with coffee, and then alongside the coffee, he takes two other drinks, which could be like two sodas or sodas and a juice, whatever. He takes two other drinks. He then takes whatever was for leftovers, so it could be spaghetti and meat sauce, rice, chicken, string beans, whatever it was. He takes uh, two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, because I think I explained to you guys my husband loves peanut butter and jelly. Well, he takes two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. He also takes a soup of some kind in his food jar, so either one soup like this or either a cup of noodle like that sometimes he comes back with the soups sometimes he actually eats it and then sometimes he also takes oatmeal and i know my husband looks um skinny he has a very fast metabolism but he eats a whole lot <laughs> okay so next what is this spaghetti sauce and then meat wise i got some chicken tenderloins that look kind of like strips some ground chicken i'm excited about this ground chicken because i haven't made ground chicken in a while <laughs> excuse me and the night that Steven proposed to me I was actually making <clears throat> excuse me ground chicken burgers and so I'm kind of gonna do a reenactment of that meal <clears throat> um, and maybe I'll explain that whole story to you guys later but that's the significance behind the ground chicken and then I got some ground chicken thighs I ended up picking two packs of sensor cut pork chops up some buns for the ground chicken burgers, some bread, because over two weeks for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, we need um, two loaves of bread. So I'll make up all the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, put them in individual uh, Ziploc bags and then put them in the freezer. Another can of corn, some eggs, some ground turkey, um, and then this chicken quinoa kale, chicken quinoa and kale ravioli that I'm actually going to cook up and make for lunch.